Hello and welcome to Care Care Print, the number one printing company in Nigeria. This tutorial will give you information about how to use the photo book solution by Care Care Print. Come with us. The very first thing you need to do on the Care Care Print website is to log in. If you don't have an account, you can register and then you create an account by following the prompt. After logging into your account, you would need to click on product. Under the products, you click on photo books. You can select any of your preferred dimensions by clicking on any of them where you see our array of photo books. We have the 6x6 photo books, the 8x11, 11x8, and 12x12 photo books. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be using the 6x6 photo books. The first thing you see when you click on 6x6 photo books are the templates. We have a list of templates for you. For the templates, we have Super Dad, Fine Girl, Family, Our Love Story, Best Mom Ever. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll be using our wedding a photo book. The first thing you need to do is click on it. And after clicking, you can actually see how it will look like when you design yours. You click right to check out the pages of the template until you get to the last page which is the 30th page after this you click on the escape button and then we can now customize click on customize this takes you to the designer studio you can see carecareprint.com loading yet now we are on the designer studio the very first thing you need to zoom in and zoom out you zoom in and then you zoom out After this, you can click on Import Images. This takes you to your image gallery. We have a list of imported images already. You can scroll down to see your images. After this, you, you have a list of options that you can use to import your images. You can click on My Computer. You can follow the prompt, Google Photos. Follow the prompt as well, Facebook. Instagram, Google Drive, and Dropbox. If you click on my computer, you can actually click on that, you can select, and then we we'll go back to our, all our images. So the very first thing you need is to select the pictures that you want to import. You keep selecting. If you have a specific page in mind, keep selecting. You can scroll down and scroll down to select more images. So once you're done with selecting your images, you click on imports so this takes you to the designer studio itself you can scroll down to see all your imported images so at this point i would like to explain what what you can do on the designer studio the very first thing where the arrow is right now is the text area you can add new text click on you can see everything it does you click on skip you can edit text you can change your text you and enter a new text and then you can also see, you can see the you can click on import images just like we said before and select all your images the reason why those images are grayed out is because you've imported them if you have new images to to import you can just click on my computer facebook instagram and the rest to continue also you can change the background you can scroll down to see a list of backgrounds. You can click on more. And scroll up also. You can also upload your background. Just click on background. You can use any of the images you have imported. Or you can up upload a fresh background. Zoom out and then you zoom in as well. So you can see the pages 
of your photo book. Click on any of them to drag, to import, to drag and drop your image. So we want to change our background. You can see that you can change the background to have both sides as the background, or you can have a stretch background, or even a single side background. You can also change the background entirely. You can delete your background by highlighting on it, and then you upload your background. You can actually import your images to design. You can drag and drop your images to design your photo book. You can also change the layout of your photo book. If you don't like the layout that we have, you can actually you can change the layout to actually correct this. Drag and drop images. It's very simple, easy to use. Just drag and drop and voila. Your images are on the photo book template. You can also customize based on what you want. You can actually duplicate the blocks to you can expand them. To, you can basically work with anything you want. So you just drag and drop, drag and drop, as simple as ABC. You click on save, click on preview, or you click on continue. You can also go back to see how your photo book looks like. And then when you're done working with all the pages, this is how the last page will look like. So you click on continue. Now you are done with your photo book design. Clicking on continue takes you to your, to your shopping cart page. Here you can actually see the details of your photo books you can click on continue clicking on continue shopping takes you back to the home page where you can add other products to your shopping cart you can also edit your order when you click on edit your order you can add your details you can select quantity classic photo paper finish your cover type which is hard your quantity you can buy as many copies you want to give out to people you can click on any one gloss finish but know that gloss finish attracts an extra fee of 5000 for this photo book you must agree to the terms of use you must click on that checkbox click on save and add to cart when you've done this it takes you back to the checkout page click on continue clicking on continue takes you to the checkout page where you can add your billing information and your shipping information. Here we'll be using the, the proxy name called Aduke Christopher and we'll be putting in some details which it has to be stressed are actually not correct. It's only for the sake of this tutorial. So we we'll put in our details Aduke Christopher. We impute all the details needed the address country state city mobile number and the rest for the shipping information you can click a checkbox that says same as billing address when you do this it automatically imputes all the details you've entered before into these new fields you can enter your phone number again and then you click on continue checkout. This takes you to your shopping cart where your details, where you see your details, your shipping address, your billing address. You can select your shipping type, whether you want to pick up from our office or by courier, your payment method, whether you want to pay online or by bank transfer or cash deposit. All your details are here and then after you verified all your details everything is in order you can also pay online paying online takes you to our payment gateway where you can impute all your card details you need to select your shipping type you are picking pick up from our office which is absolutely free and then you click on order complete this takes you to our checkout success page 
that tells you that your order has been received, all the details of your order. And then it tells you how you can get your invoice or purchase other documents, how you can get other details and progress on order, how you can get designs to reuse and all, all other information about your order. Where you can see this, you also get a message or a mail on your device about your order. This is the end of the Kia Kia Print photo book tutorial and I do hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this.